Have you been recently diagnosed with an illness and are overwhelmed with intense fear that has taken over your life? In this video, I talk about some of the most important first steps you can consider to allow yourself to take control of your new circumstances and overall life. Welcome to my channel, I'm Mel and I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. On this channel, I simplify nutrition and holistic wellness with a large focus on mental health. Receiving a scary health diagnosis is no doubt a difficult experience filled with a ton of uncertainty and anxiety no matter what age. Learning to come to terms with your reality, however, is the key to a focused journey with tons of support. Here are six recommendations for coping with a scary diagnosis. Number one, gather all the facts. Jot down all of your questions and ask your doctor to sit with you and walk you through each one of them. It may be ideal to bring a loved one with you for support and for an extra ear. Questions may include, has my illness spread? What other tests or procedures will I require? What medications will I need to take? That being said, you may prefer only understanding the basics in trusting your doctor with the rest, and that's okay too. Know what it is that you need to get through this difficult time. Number two, build your support team. Support is so important during this time, so reach out to family and friends you trust and can rely on being there for you every step of the way. Don't get lost in thinking that people are too busy for your life because if it were the other way around, it's likely that they would be turning to you for the same support. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel below for more similar videos on all things nutrition and mental health. Number three, anticipate physical changes. A helpful question you may wanna ask your doctor is, what physical changes you may experience during your journey? Will the meds increase your weight? Will you lose your hair? Will you lose your appetite? Wrapping your head around such potential changes may help reduce the shock factor once the symptoms arrive. Number four, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Not always easy, but this doesn't mean that you have to achieve the healthy lifestyle you once had, if you had one that is. You may need to change things up a bit, like eat more liquid foods or slow down your pace and exercise with yoga or tai chi. Either way, it's critical to aim to stay on track as much as you can with eating nutrient-dense foods, moving your body, and strengthening your mind. Number five, talk to others in the same boat. Sometimes connecting with others who are experiencing the same challenges as you can be extremely helpful in alleviating feelings of loneliness. It is very easy to fall into a dark place during times like this, which makes it even more important to network with others. Whatever you do, don't do this alone. And lastly, number six, engage in activities you love. Once the dust settles and you've truly accepted your circumstances and are ready to move forward, it is important that you do the things you love to help reduce your stress load. Things like hanging with friends, watching a sunset, painting, gardening, writing, whatever your passion, do more of it. Reducing negative thoughts that come with such a diagnosis can make a world of difference. Guys, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you found it helpful. See you in the next one.